Hello and welcome to this new tutorial dedicated to ComSniffer, the powerful software that allows you to record, sniff, and monitor the data of a serial port already opened by another application in a transparent and effective way without the need for hardware interfaces or other tools. First, you need to launch Serial Tool in administrator mode. Once the program has started, go to the SpyPort screen, available only on Windows, and select ComSniffer, which is the recommended option. At this point, the main com sniffer window will appear. Let's start by enlarging the window to see which options are available. In the session log section, all commands sent and received through the serial port will appear in sequence, captured by our dedicated driver. Further to the right, we find the read write section, which displays all read and write packets to the serial port or ports. Moving further right, there is the dump screen, which shows only the payload of the read and write packets. At the bottom, you will find all the interpreted IO controls. Finally, in the lower part, there is the debug log screen, where important messages and user information are displayed. Let's now start working with the COM ports we want to sniff. First, click the Sniffed Ports button to check which ports are already being monitored. In our case, we start from a situation where no ports are monitored yet. At this point, we add COM6 and COM8. Com Sniffer is capable of sniffing multiple COM ports simultaneously. In our example, since COM6 and COM8 are active and connected to each other in null modem mode with the physical wiring shown in the image, every write operation performed on COM6 will be received by COM8 and vice versa because the transmit pin of COM6 is physically connected to the receive pin of COM8 and the same applies in the opposite direction. This setup has been created specifically for educational purposes to demonstrate how two different programs connected respectively to COM6 and CCOM8 can send and receive data between each other. In real-world practice, however, the more common scenario will be sniffing a single specific COM port of your target application, for example, to perform protocol reverse engineering or simply to verify that your application works correctly. Let's add the ports we want to sniff. From the drop-down menu of available ports, select COM8 and click Add Port to Sniff. Then, repeat the same process for COM6. If everything works correctly, you'll see at the bottom that both ports have been successfully added to the sniffing process. At this point, click the Start Sniffing button. At this point, after adding the COM ports for sniffing, we'll launch two instances of the real-term program, one connected to COM8 and the other to COM6. We could also use Serial Tool for the same functionality, but we're choosing an older program like Realterm to better highlight the entire process. In your case, you'll need to launch the program you want to monitor. From there, we'll open the serial ports and send commands from one port to the other. ComSniffer will capture everything, from the moment the port is opened to the transmission of the bytes, and display it on the screen. Once both instances of Realterm are running, we can go ahead and open COM6 from the program on the left keeping all the default settings as they are. In the same way, from the program on the right, we'll open COM8. Now, as soon as the COM ports are opened, the session log will show all the commands that Realterm sends programmatically to open the port. From this, we can interpret key parameters such as the baud rate, the timeout, and other settings that help us understand how our application works. Or, in the case of third-party software, analyze how that application operates. Now that we've seen how Realterm opens the serial port, let's run a quick test by sending some bytes from COM6 to COM8. In the Send tab, type the text Hello World from COM6 and click the Send ASCII button. Once we press the button, we'll see that Realterm on COM8 correctly receives our welcome message. Next, we repeat the exact same procedure from the Realterm instance where COMM8 is open. As you'll see, the same process happens again and the data is sent back to COM6. Notice how the read and write commands for each COM port appear in the read-write window, while in the dump window, we only see the payload, the actual data that our two COM ports have sent and received. From this point on, you've learned how to passively capture all the commands sent by any application using a COM port. This procedure works with both physical and virtual COM ports, whether they're USB to serial converters or actual hardware ports. Finally, let's take a look at one last detail. 
With the Select I.O. CTL button, ComSniffer allows you to choose which I.O. control commands you want to log. This is useful because you may not always be interested in all of them, and some can create unnecessary noise in the log. For example, Realterm repeatedly requests the IOCTL serial get com status command, which quickly clutters the session log. As you can see, if we enable this filter, we'll notice Realterm continuously sending the IOCTL serial towards the get com status command. This small detail shows how each application manages the serial port in its own way and how ComSniffer can intercept all of these calls. It gives you the ability to analyze more specifically and in greater depth how certain programs operate while using filters to focus only on the commands that matter to you. We've now reached the end of our tutorial. Thank you for following along and we look forward to seeing you in the next ones. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at serialtool.com. Thanks again and see you in the next tutorial.